I'm just running my fingers over this. It's not going anywhere. It's freaking perfect. Hello, my loves. It's Zia. Welcome back to my channel. I keep hearing something hit my window. What the hell is this? Hey everyone, it's Zia. Welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you a bunch of lip products that I got off of Amazon. I just went crazy buying makeup off Amazon, but I swear this is like the last makeup thing that I got off of Amazon, okay? These are supposed to be dupes for the Kylie Jenner lipsticks. However, I have never used Kylie Jenner lipsticks, even though I really want to, but I just can't really afford that right now. So I can't vouch for whether or not these are exact dupes or not. So I got 16. 16 liquid lipsticks. Let's see how much they were for because I forgot. <laughs> I got 16 liquid lipsticks for $20 pretty much. It was $19.29. Oh, I forgot all of these are in plastic. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I had to take all the plastic off of all of these. It literally took me forever. Okay, it took me seven minutes, but still it felt like forever. Now I'm going to get into swatching these. These only have numbers on them. They don't have any names. So I'm just going to go by number. So this here is number one. As you can see, it has the Kylie Jenner drops. They smell like chocolate and they look really nice too. That color is really pretty. I don't know why I haven't worn this one yet. This is number two. It's this really pretty purple shade. As you can see, it goes on really smooth. Oh, this one smells like bubblegum. Like it smells exactly like bubblegum. Oh my God, that's insane. So there's the purple one, that's number two. Three is this really, really orange color right here. That is extremely like neon orange. Definitely not a color I would wear, but I mean, that's incredibly pretty. It's a really, really pretty color. Not the type of color I would wear, but really, really nice. Definitely super pigmented. Like, I can't believe how good these are. Here's number four. Is this really pretty nude? I really like it. I'm very surprised. Like, I only tried out one of these and I really liked it. I don't remember which one it is. Oh, I see it. Number 16, the last one. So I'll show you which one I've worn later. But here are the first four. Really, really pretty. Let's move on to number five. It's this red one right here. Really, really pretty. It looks really neat. Like, it's definitely a very, very bright red. Here's number six. These are hard to find. <laughs> I think they have names for all of them on Amazon. I'll leave the link down below. That's a very pretty pink. This watch came out a lot bigger than the rest, so excuse it. So here's the pink. Really, really pretty. I really like it. I'm very surprised. In the tube, I don't feel like it looks as good. On camera, it looks like the exact same color. But I feel like in the tube, it doesn't look as good. Once it's swatched, it looks really great. Gotta find number seven. Oh, I actually picked it up the first time. How about that? So number seven is this really deep brown. I gotta admit, this one is thinner than the rest. But it still covers very well. The pigmentation is actually really, really good. So that is incredible. Number eight. This is a really, really pale nude. Pretty pale, it's especially for me. It's not a color that I would wear, but I think it is a very flattering color on lighter skin tones. Here's number nine. This one actually looks to be metallic. I did have to go over this twice because it was just a little thin. There's that one. Really, really pretty. This is number nine. So nice. It's like this really coppery orange shade. It's really, really neat. Number 10 is like this gray metallic one. It's really weird looking. I don't know how much I like it. It looks kind of black on camera. Uh, I'm not super happy with it. It's not a color that I would wear on my lips. I just don't find it attractive, but some people really like it, so if you're into that, there it is. It actually is pretty good. Definitely have to go over it with two coats. So that's number 10. I only have six more to go. Let's keep going. <laughs> so here is number 11. This is another really pretty, oh wow. It's very gold. It's so pretty. I hope it's paying off on camera. It looks really, really pretty. It definitely has that metallic feel to it. 12 is this really, really pretty deep blue. 
but so far I feel like this is probably the worst one in this kit because it's still not totally opaque. But if you're looking for a sheer blue, you can do that. Not the greatest, but it's there. My battery is getting low, so I decided to go ahead and swatch the rest of them. This cold color right here is number 13. Really, really pretty. It applied really well. There's this red, which is also gorgeous. Um, it could have been a bit more opaque. The first red is definitely a whole lot better, in my opinion. And then there's number 15, which is this glittery pink. I think they tried to make it a metallic, but I didn't really get there, so it just ended up being a thin pink. So if you're going for something really natural, that would really work. And this one is the only one that I've worn so far. This is number 16. I absolutely loved it when I had it on. It was super dark. I'm definitely one for a dark lip. I love dark lips. It's like my favorite look ever. So loved it. Obviously, I definitely believe that the Kylie liquid lipsticks are like a million times better. Even though I haven't tried it, I'm sure it's fantastic. Uh, these are really, really good. So if you're looking for more colors to use, uh, this is a really good bargain. It's 16 pieces for $20. I mean, you really can't go wrong there uh, when it comes to price. And a lot of these have really good pigmentation. When I was wearing this one down here, I absolutely forgot I was wearing it. I thought for a minute I wasn't even wearing lipstick because I didn't feel it. So, really, really happy with it. Uh, I can't wait to wear this one. I can't wait to wear number one. And they do dry down matte. I'm going to run down my finger right here. I'm just running my fingers over this. It's not going anywhere. It's freaking perfect. Yeah, that's all I have to say about it. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. I would love to have you as part of my tiny little growing YouTube family. It's growing slow, but I'm really happy about how it is. I hope you guys have a wonderful, beautiful day. And just be happy that you're you. I feel like dropping some kind of positivity. I don't know. I don't want to sound sappy at the end of this video. So yeah, thank you guys so, so much. I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye.